Hi guys, it's Emily and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to solve a missing view type problem. So in these types of problems we're usually given two views of the same part and we need to use these two views to find the missing view. And so um, I first want to talk about the types of views that we will be working with. Uh, we'll be working with the front view, so we're given the front view in this problem, and we're also given the right side view. So we're going to be working with those views as well as the top view. And the top view always goes above the front view. And the reason being is because we are using third angle projection which is what this symbol means. It means that our part is being viewed in what would be known as the third quadrant if you think about it in uh, a 3D space. So we're using the top view, the front view, and the right side view to describe this part in two dimensions. So in this particular problem, um, we're going to find the top view and I'm just going to move this label over here just so it's not in the way of my work. And the easiest way to find the top view in this case is by using the miter line method. And so the miter line method is a simple method where we first separate our views with some axes. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to use a thicker line, a thicker highlighted line uh, to draw our initial axes and then to draw the miter line I'm going to just make my line thinner and the miter line is always a 45 degree angle line and this line typically typically goes in the space on your drawing template where there is no view being drawn. So we have this being 45 degrees. Actually, I'm going to draw this out here. Oops. So this angle is 45 degrees. And so this method allows us to project extension lines um, in our drawing space where we are missing a view. And those extension lines will allow us to draw um, the top view in this problem. So first, what we want to do um, after we've created our miter line and our initial axes, we want to make our extension lines connecting the front view and the right side view. So everywhere there is a feature or basically everywhere there is a corner, we want to um, make horizontal extension lines going from our front view to our right side view. And this will help us locate these different features in both views. The next step is to make vertical extension lines from our front view to our top view drawing space. So I'm just doing what I did before and making my extension lines into my top view drawing space. And now uh, we are going to be in our right side view and we're going to make vertical lines up until we hit a miter line. And so once we've done that, now we're going to extend those lines horizontally into our top view drawing space. And so now that we've done that, um, 
we can see um, that we've mapped out the placement of where uh, our lines should go. So it might be a little tricky because we have more lines than we need. Um, but the way to figure out where things go exactly is by uh, starting at one corner and figuring out um, figuring out the general shape and dimensions of the different portions of your part. So I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to start here actually at this top rectangle. And I'm just going to I'm going to first trace over my extension lines going from my front view to my right side view. And I can see that this part um, where I highlighted in my right side view um, ends sort of at this visible line that I'm highlighting in, in orange. And so if I if I extend these highlighted lines into my top view drawing space, I can see that um, it boxes out um, where this rectangle goes. So you just kind of want to use your extension lines to locate these different parts. So I can see that that rectangle and my top view will look like that. And now if I, oh, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. And now if I go down and I look at this inclined surface, I can see that that starts and ends at those extension lines that I just highlighted. And then if I look at my extension lines horizontally, I can see that this part starts and ends at these extension lines. So I'm really just creating these uh, boxes, these highlighted boxes using my extension lines. And those extension lines are locating where these different features go. And so if I continue, I can see that this small box uh, located at the bottom will go here in my top view. So wherever I boxed out in pink, I'm just drawing, I'm just tracing over in my visible lines. And then lastly, we can't forget the perimeter of the part as well. So if I make highlighted lines at the end of my part, we can see that the part starts and ends up here in this corner. And if we get rid of all of our extension lines, we can see that we're left with our top view. So that's just an easy way of figuring out a missing view problem.